In 2016, a one-poll survey showed that the average American woman has 103 items in her wardrobe, with 21% being deemed completely unwearable. You may think that my wife, being a sensible Canadian, is different in this regard, but despite being married to a minimalist and downsizing to smaller homes several times, she's confessed that her wardrobe continues to be a problem. So, just to make things clear, this was completely your idea. Yes, definitely. I think you've been always understanding with my anti-minimalism ways. <laughs> um, I think we kind of did this decluttering when I moved to the big move from Canada to the UK from my house and my bedroom, which is the size of our, at least feels like our flat. Um, decluttered, we got there, decluttered again, moved from there to mom's, decluttered again. And it's only been, what, a year? And I think it's time to declutter again. Uh, making room for the baby, I think that was the biggest wake up call. So you've put up with me being a minimalist for several years now. Like, what do you honestly think about minimalism? I don't think I like the idea that there's like one set way. So that's probably going to be hard for me if we say, you know, you have to have X number of pants. <laughs> you know, when they talk about sparking joy when you, you know, buy an item and, and hug it. I mean... When you go to the mall, it sparks joy. And when you buy something, it sparks joy. And I think it's just time. I need some structure. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, hearing this got me excited. I'd be lying if I was to say that as a minimalist, it wouldn't be sweet if Nisha cut down her rather generous wardrobe size. Despite her love for clothes, even she too is beginning to realize that when you own less stuff, it equals less stress and more happiness. And if she can truly kick the habit of adding to her closet every time that there's a sale on, it will probably save us a little bit of money that we can put towards an early retirement too. If you've ever sat in front of your wardrobe thinking about the challenge of decluttering, it's likely that you've considered Project 333. If you don't know about it, this is where you choose just 33 items of clothing to wear for just three months in order to prove to yourself that you don't need a walk-in wardrobe for your happiness and self-esteem. And despite my admiration for these kinds of viral challenges, Nisha wasn't so confident in pulling it off. Tell me what to do. I need an opinion. I need structure. Can I phone a friend? Maybe pile. Yeah, are you agreeing with me? Sure. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. What count are we on for clothes that you've never worn before? Two, two. Two so far. Yeah. It just doesn't fit me yet, and I don't know if I'm just keeping it because I'm hoping that one day it'll fit me. Yeah. Sales! They're irresistible. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Remember, it's that's joy. You think women have it harder when it comes to closets? Like in my point of view, I actually don't think I have that many things compared to even some of my guy friends, maybe relatives, let's be honest. <laughs> this is fun, right? I was just gonna say that, this is fun. This is fun. Well, I think I'm doing pretty good. Look at, look at how many dresses I have left. One, two, three, four, five. Nine dresses. Wow, and how many were we at before? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Something I've learned is that creating a capsule wardrobe is all about maximizing versatility. And this is something that is no stranger to today's sponsor, Pact. You may have seen my minimalist travel essentials video a while back featuring their backpack, which is something that I use all the time. But if you're the adventurous type, sometimes one backpack isn't always enough. So now they've launched their Anywhere collection, which includes four new bags that take versatility to a whole other level. There's a five litre sling that's perfect for cameras, water bottles, and freeing up space in your pockets on your days out. A 25 litre duffel that's great as a top opening bag for gym gear or road trips, a 50 litre which takes the versatility of their duffel and their backpack and merges it into one bigger package, plus an enormous 120 litre gear hauler that's perfect for bulky camera gear, sporting goods or pretty much anything you want to throw at it. Their backpack has been pretty much the only bag I use and I've already been finding their sling to be super useful for bringing along my camera and water bottle when I'm out and about. And it helps that it looks great and is designed to securely piggyback on top of the other bags in their collection too. 
Now that restrictions are easing in the UK, we have a couple of trips lined up, so I can see these bags being super useful now that I'm lugging around chunky camera gear and a ton of baby items. And with larger bags like their 50 litre, it means that you can have more choice when trying to find your perfect travel companion. Of course, I wouldn't have packed on as a sponsor if I didn't think that they made really well designed sustainable products. So you can check these out in more detail using the link in the video description below. Despite it technically not contributing towards a wardrobe count, I've been finding that I mainly wear my workout clothes at home because they're comfy and it means that I'm always ready for a workout. After my pregnancy, it really hit home how much my body changed over such a short period of time. So I found myself having to get different types of clothing for both my pregnancy and for nursing. In the future, we're still hoping to grow our family. So would it make sense to get rid of pregnancy items only to have to buy them again down the line? So Daniel suggested the idea of keeping these transitional items in our suitcases so they could be stored away for when they're next needed. This stops these items from cluttering my wardrobe and establishes some much needed order in my closet. So I have more space and can pick my outfits more easily. If I'm honest, 33 items just wasn't gonna work for my lifestyle as I enjoy color and variety. And because we experience all four seasons in the UK, it makes things a bit more difficult. So in the end, I decided that my attempt at a capsule wardrobe would consist of 15 tops, 12 dresses, 12 bottoms, four skirts, three cardigans, a sweater and two hoodies, seven types of jackets, and 11 pairs of shoes, boots, and heels. When trying to convince Nisha to get down to just 33 items of clothing, her exact words were, I can probably do it, but in the long term, I'm just going to end up buying everything again. From going through this experience, I've realized that encouraging our partners or family members to make drastic changes can make it easy for them to fall back into old habits, which kind of reminded me of how I got digestive problems when I failed to dramatically reduce my meat consumption, something that I really don't want to have to go through again. If I'm honest, Nisha did an amazing job of decluttering two bin bags full of clothing several months before we even started this challenge. And even though it's been a somewhat slow process, she's managed to find a way to remove a third of her wardrobe after being just a little bit more intentional. Sure, she may have put a fair amount of clothing in suitcases, but this at least gives her the option to do things at a slower pace that she's comfortable with. Instead of taking an arbitrary number like 33, Nisha decided on a number that she was comfortable with, and despite her wardrobe being substantially larger than others, it's still a big improvement and it's something that she's more likely to stick to. 33 is a great target to aspire to, but really the point behind challenges like this is to be intentional about what it is that you own by creating a list. And if this is something that you do at your own pace, it's ultimately more likely to save you from the mistake of decluttering items only to repurchase them again in the future, which probably does you more harm than good. Finally, I just wanna say thank you Pact for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And so now you've been through this whole process, what would you say is like one tip that you would give to someone who's also considering decluttering their own wardrobe? I would tell them, find pieces that are the most versatile. If it fits for a wedding, as well as what you can wear in a grocery store, then you have put, you know, two or three items into one item. And so now that this is all over, how are you feeling? I'm pretty proud of myself. I think it did a good job. Wait, isn't that an outfit you were supposed to get rid of?